As we're about to embark on a new journey in Hank, I make sure we've got everything that we need before setting off to the east side of Essex to a place called Haybridge Basin. The destination is a pub on the water's edge called the Jolly Sailor. Marvin and I are ready to get to the pub and order some dinner. Being so close to the water, I know exactly what I want. I've ordered a great big fish platter and I am super looking forward to it. I didn't actually realise that there's more coming in. Look at this. I didn't realise just how much food Marvin and I was going to have to get through. Look, um, 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 me and Marvin are going to have a feast tonight. It just kept coming more and more. I couldn't think I was going to get more. Look what the barman's bringing over for me. <sighs> Thank you. Cheers, everyone. And of course, Marvin got her fish supper as well. And it didn't take her long to make sure that that bowl was completely clean. Finishing off with a little dog treat. So after chomping down on that seafood platter, Marvin and I are now full. She's a little bit sleepy. I'm going to finish this off and now I think it's time to try the real ales. With a variety of drinks at the bar, it didn't take me long to find the local ale of Malden Gold. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can tell it's going to be one of those nights tonight. I think I'm probably going to have a sore head in the morning. As the night went on, Marvin got to meet a lot of the locals and also pub landlady Victoria, who had a chat with us, not before getting a snog from Marvin. Hi, my name's Vicky. I'm the owner of the Jolly Sailor, Haybridge Basin. We have loads of home stay, um, occasionally uh, through the week and at the weekends. We've got accommodation for about three motorhomes. Really lovely walks. You've uh, got some great views over the river and over the estuary. We do allow dogs, yeah. As it came to close in time, Marvin and I decided we really liked this place. It was a perfect place to come to, especially after a great walk. With a happy tale, it was time to head back to get some sleep for tomorrow's day out. As we arrived at night, we didn't get chance to see the full glory of the water surrounding us, but I'm sure it's going to be a different story in daylight. And it certainly is. The tranquility of the water and boats makes this a perfect haven for peace and quiet. But let's get up and get some breakfast before we start our day and our new adventure. As we leave Hank, we notice the back garden of the Jolly Sailor, a beautiful decking area, perfect for families, plenty of space and enough room for barbecues. Let's take you back inside the pub and speak to one of the locals and find out what they think about motorhomers coming to the area. I met with Brenda, who lives local. I'm part of the local ladies charity rowing team. Uh, we also run a dog show on an annual basis. We have up to about 80 or so dogs each, each year that come in a motorhome, a uh, camper van, that's absolutely fine. They can come in and join in the fun. I love the fact that even though we don't live nearby, we can still participate and join in the fun. As soon as I tell Marvin this, she starts getting ready and practices her poses. Beautiful Marvin. But come on, it's time for breakfast now. Cool, look at that. Marvin sat there dribbling all over my leg. As we get on our way for our walk, we come to the lock and we see some beautiful tall boats alongside the estuary as well. The tide is out, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. Marvin meets the first friend of the day and then we realize just how muddy this walk is gonna be. It's a good job I brought my wellies but I don't know how I'm gonna keep this one clean. As the day goes on, Marvin meets lots more friends. She's thoroughly enjoying herself, but it's time to get over to the canal. We come across a clearing on the left-hand side called Maria's Garden with full-size animals for all the family to look at. The views around the area are just absolutely breathtaking. I just wish it had been more sunny on the day. As we look around, we come to a signpost that states OC, so we know that we're close to OC Island. Marvin and I take in all the views of the island. It's absolutely lovely. I'm looking forward to coming back and I haven't even left yet. As we absorb all the character of this quaint little town, I realise I've got to get back, shower and back on the road. So after a long walk, it's time for a shower. 
You can't come in. As it's getting time to leave, I'm actually getting a little bit sad. This pub has to be on the top of my list. Great food, great location and amazing people. A perfect example of a traditional English pub. <laughs>